Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we are going over how the God of Ugly, aka Jeffrey Bean, has gone viral, why he's so attractive to people, and how he was able to do it with so few resources. So let's hop into it. Understanding ugly guys rise is first understanding that ugly guy is a pure internet rapper. I mean pure. Him and Lil Yachty are probably the only two pure internet rappers that exist on a pop level today. Not just their music wouldn't be known, their actual brands could not exist without the internet themselves. Ugly guy calls himself a meme rapper. That's probably the best way to say it. If you look at a meme page and you look at Lil Yachty or Ugly Guy's brand, they both actually feel like an ongoing meme, a meme come to life. And a lot of people understand memes in the sense of Instagram and Facebook, those visuals that we see, but what does a meme really mean why do they call it that where the name come from because the word existed beforehand <clears throat> an idea behavior style or usage that spreads from one person to another a meme by nature is viral it's the transfer of something from one person to another it's no surprise that ugly guy is very very good at this because he ran a meme page he knows the formula for an effective meme in the same way a lot of people knows the formula for a pop song. And let's think about Drake. Drake's most parodied and memed about song was Hotline Bling. He made the video in itself to become that. And watching the power that that had for that one single song where Drake committed to becoming a meme, transfer that idea and understand that Lil Yachty and Ugly God both committed to their entire careers or brands being a meme. Ugly God is built from the ground up to go viral. He's tailor-made to spread on the internet. Ugly God himself is a character, which will make a lot of these other things make sense that we'll go over. When you actually don't have a team, a lot of people, when you're working by yourself in a room like he does, but are able to employ everybody that exists on the internet as your team to do your marketing and spread everything for you, then it doesn't matter as much. But now let's go deep into the character and elements of Ugly God. For one, this dude has an instinct for shock value. His first name was Pussy Bacon, or his plies would say Pussy Bacon. That name is not the name of somebody who's taking themselves super seriously. That name is the name of somebody who wants to get attention. He knows that there's going to be some instinct and reaction. He might think it's funny, but it's trolling. And even when he transferred to Ugly God, that name is meant to do the exact same thing. When you hear Ugly Guy, you're not going to forget the name Ugly Guy because who claims to be the God of Ugly? And now let's talk about fan connections and how he deepens his connections with fans. It's really very simple in terms of uh, Ugly Guy. One, he has this whole I don't give a fuck thing or whatever. He's saying a lot of things that kind of just makes people laugh. And whoever makes people laugh oftentimes connects with people. He has these nods to gamers and anime when you look at his Luigi cap and his Ash Ketchum cap that he often wears. And this is just something that is funny the people who are when you actually see him wear these in real life but it also is a way of saying I come from that same culture that you come from I, I used to watch these shows I used to play these games so as opposed to being super upfront about it like some people just try to say hey I'm this gamer person and use it to brand themselves or hey I'm this anime person or hey I'm this I don't know RC person he just has those subtle nods which can come off as far more authentic by the way Lil Uzi has his subtle nods to anime he doesn't go super super um, in on it and how you know he's very intentional about this brand and the character of Ugly God is his hair. It's one thing to just wear those caps, but the way he wears his hair is actually something that just continuously plays on to a character because it's not how people do their hair. The guy is more intentional than he'd like you to think, but that's a part of, you know, entertainment. And there's probably no entertainer as intentional as a comedian. And that's essentially what Ugly God is. He's a comedic rapper. You can think of some other comedic rappers who are out today. Uh, 2 Chainz doesn't get as much credit because he kind of hides it behind this whole cool trap thing, but it's also why people love his music when he really blew up. I call him Big Booty cause she got a big booty, yeah! You can think of people from back in the day like Ying Yang Twins were also comedic and people didn't realize it. And then you have somebody, obviously his fellow 
internet rapper Lil B, kind of one of the godfathers of it. But the most comparable in recent history to Ugly God is Lil Dicky. They use the exact same type of comedy. Think about Lil Dicky's name being Lil Dicky, and it's weird and uncommon for a male to talk about his dick being little openly. Well, then you talk about Ugly God having a little dick click that he mentions being a part of. They're very self deprecating and making themselves the butt of the joke for the humor of all. If you look at my video on how Lil Dicky went viral, you'll see that his first time blowing up was because of his song Ex-Boyfriend, where it was about a girl he was with having an ex-boyfriend that was basically better than him in every imaginable way. If you compare Ugly Guys from Rise to Lil Dicky's, it'll help you understand Ugly Guy a lot deeper than you might already understand him. There's so many parallels that they have. A lot of people kind of box their humor into this kind of immature type box. Eh, what it is what it is to me that's kind of irrelevant but they do have a lot of songs about beating their meat and stuff like that and while I have hung up the golden glove I do look back on those days fondly with a, a smile and a single tear so we all know that a dope beat and catchy lyrics and using a lot of repetition is oftentimes the uh, formula for making a hit that kind of moves throughout culture, whether people think it's good or substantive or not. But Ugly God is taking that to a whole nother level by compressing that into something that actually works even more exponentially on the internet. Think about the fact that this guy has, at the time that I'm making this video, 13 songs on SoundCloud, and only three of them are over three minutes, where most people's songs are over three minutes, and they're barely over three minutes, and most of his songs are actually closer to two minutes long. Why does that help him out? Well, let's go back to the definition of a meme, an idea that spreads from one person to another, and let's go back to the fact that he's a comedic rapper. You ever heard a joke that was funny, and then you were laughing with your friends but then you have this friend that just keeps bringing up the joke keeps bringing up the joke and it's funny the first few times but after a while you're like bruh shut up even the best jokes which are all ideas in themselves can be killed if they go too long by keeping them short and potent it actually makes the ideas more powerful so you're cut off you have the song you're probably gonna listen to it more than once because you get cut off before the energy that you're usually used to giving a song is all exhausted. He goes even further to make his songs memes in themselves by actually using the idea of the song to be the title for the most part. Like he's just straightforward with it. Water, bitch, fuck ugly guy. The title of his songs are usually the chorus of the song and it gets repeated over and over and over. So whatever the idea is the title, it gets repeated throughout the song in itself and is driven by these catchy beats and lyrics becoming this nice little mix of what his brand represents, which is humor and fun. And while we're on ideas, let's talk about the ugly inception of Ugly God. Basically, the messages that he likes to get across. You once again see how intentional he is when he always talks about the fact that he doesn't drink or smoke. He's repeated this multiple times whether people ask him or not because that's something he wants you to know. A lot of people would expect somebody who has the type of image that he has to be a heavy smoker or a drinker because it's bizarre to them. This goes back to the power that you have as a public figure when you have unique pairings which you guys can check out if you've never seen that video before. It's ultra powerful and important. But that's just one message he wants to get across. Another powerful message that he likes to get across is I don't give a Look, his big way of doing this is being self-deprecating, right? Saying all these things that are typically something people wouldn't tell about themselves, talking about, my dick is small, my music is trash, I'm off topic, I say random shit, and it's vulgar, I'm rapping about shit that's not supposed to be heard by children, trash. Another way the ugly guy actually sends the message of I don't give a fuck and tries to separate himself from other people intentionally through messaging is saying that I'm not a flashy rapper because ugly guy the character pretty much doesn't care about anything that other people think that he should care about. Now John Jeremy Bean you can see that he actually cares about quite a few things when you look at some of his interviews and especially when they start talking about relationships but you can go look at that kind of stuff yourself. And all the things that have been said so far really culminate into the power of Ugly God. How he owned this I'm ugly type thing. Who else has done that in the past and been powerful? Biggie Smalls. Black and ugly as ever. However, I stay Gucci down to the socks. Damn, that's still a hard ass line. 
owning these things that are perceived flaws so they become a strength and become your own weapons is actually the power of ugly guy because when he's calling his music trash it doesn't matter when these old heads start calling his stuff trash because he already said it it's like eminem and a mile when he said all that stuff at the end about how he was basically white trash and all that kind of stuff so the guy could no longer say it about him and actually when it comes to that the most similar to ugly guy in the media today is charlamagne the guy who also always says live your truth so nobody can use your truth against you he's always talking about once again a very common thing how his dick size and thinking that it was little one time because his girl actually cheated with a dude who had a bigger dick Charlamagne just tells all these stories that most people wouldn't reveal about themselves, especially when you look at his book, the things I've heard about the book haven't read it yet. Which shortly leads me to what I call the ugly lie of ugly God, and that's just simply this. The dude is stupid. No, the dude is obviously super smart. He got a full ride to college and was double majoring in engineering and web development, which aren't no lightweight majors. You don't get full rides to a college, especially if you're not playing sports, if you don't have a good head on your shoulder. So understand the dude is intentional, but that's a part of the lie of the entertainment industry as well, right? His brand has nothing to do with his intelligence, so he doesn't really display that often. He just picks the part of him that he wants people the world to know. He amplifies that and entertains with it. My only problem actually is that ugly guy and Lil Yachty kind of get dismissed to the side as being dumb or ignorant where somebody like Weird Al Yankovic who is basically the godfather of all this viral parody type stuff never got question of his intelligence. But I think that's part of a bigger issue that I'm not going to get into here. No time in this video to go over if Ugly Guy will fall off and will that booty tape be good, but I will get to that soon. For now, that's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.